you get a chromosome, everybody says, huh? What? You yell cancer. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. All kidding aside, you have roughly 678,000 times the chance of being killed by cancer than by any shark. Hello and welcome to my channel. I realize this is a busy image, so let me break it down for you. We'll start at the top and work our way down. The upper image has been modified from one of the videos shown on the channel. It's the one with the monarch butterfly at the top, entitled A Grand Unifying Theory of Biology. You can learn more about it by watching that video right here on this channel. Here are some of the other videos currently shown. The first video consists of a little science project to make a point about how large circular DNA can be easily mistaken for linear DNA using current methods for DNA isolation. The second video is an introduction to the channel itself and its contents. The title of the third video is self-explanatory. The fourth video compares and contrasts two kinds of mitotic cell division and how one may have evolved from the other. More detailed information is available in a downloadable PowerPoint. The previously described fifth video is an evolutionary overview about how plants, animals, fungi, and other eukaryotes may have evolved from a special group of bacteria. Included is a non-mainstream explanation for how multicellular animal nuclei evolved using a process I call hierarchical endosymbiosis. Unfortunately, such a complex mechanism may break down over time, leading to rogue endosymbionts taking over cell replication and eventually generating cancer. Other videos use combinations of graphics, rubber bands, and physical evidence to explain how animal chromosomes may be put together by complex chains of DNA circles that become altered during development. Additional information including peer-reviewed papers, videos, downloadable manuscripts, PowerPoints, and my dissertation can be found at my blog, Evolution4, that's the number 4, dot wordpress.com. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments at the following email, fabernathy at sbcglobal.net. 